Uh, I'm Ruth Hamilton, Nee Atkinson. I grew up around Barma and, and all my ancestors are from the Bangarang people. And I'm so hurt to, for what's happened to our people for no reason. You know, to take, I didn't think you could take land off someone and just give it to someone else like that after they have owned it for years. And so it's not right. is that um, we've been aware for oh, decades that um, the Bangarang have been treated really, really unfairly. Their voice hasn't been heard by politicians, by the government, um, by Parks Victoria, by DELP, the Department of Environment, Land, Water and Planning. And, and they haven't been given a voice. Now, most people listening to this video will be surprised when I tell you that just over 10 years ago, the Yorta Yorta Nation, they uh, took the Labor government to court. And the reason for going to court was uh, the Yorta Yorta wanted to be recognised as the traditional owner of these lands, which includes the Barma National Park. They actually lost that court case in the Supreme Court. So what they did was they appealed against the decision and they took the Labor government to the High Court. Now, the highest court of the land also ruled that the Yorta Yorta could not prove that they were the traditional owners of this land, including the Barma National Park. Now, what occurred was, was shortly after, um, or sorry, during that time, a, uh, a elder and, and the leader of the Bangarang was also a committee member of the Barma Brumby Preservation Group, and his name was Sandy Atkinson, a wonderful man. And Sandy uh, told me a story, he told me many stories, but one of the ones that sticks in my mind is, is that uh, just after those, uh, a little while after those court cases, um, uh, the Labor government met with the Bangarang, which included Sandy mm -hmm. and other elders, and they stated that uh, they wanted the Bangarang's support in removing cattle and, um, and the logging out of, out of the uh, Barma State Forest at that time. And Sandy and the other elders said, no, why? Uh, no, we support those. Well, Sandy told me that those politicians immediately stood up and left the room. Just like the felon is it? Yeah. Now, obviously they've then gone to the Yorta Yorta and, and somehow a deal was made. But what I don't understand, and hopefully you can explain it to me, is when the Yorta Yorta's taken the Labor government to court, to the highest court in the land, and they've lost their court case in relation to traditional ownership, how can the government then, approximately six months later, then, hand the Barma National Park over to the Yorta Yorta... To people that don't even own the land. ...and go against a case law... Yes. ...decided in the High Court? Yes. So, yeah, would you and, like and to... That's, that's what that? makes me angry and hurt. You know, that, to think that my ancestors were here from time began and and they knew the area where they come from and, and all of a sudden we just stripped of everything. And it, they, they even tried to get land up at Wangaratta, didn't they? Do the Yorta Yorta speak on behalf of the Bangarang? No, they don't. Right. So you, the Bangarang have got their own voice? Yes. Well, yes. Sandy poured himself into his grave trying to... 
yes. correct the wrong that the government done, you know, and yes. and uh, I was so sorry because one party looked so good and then all of a sudden he went down because he was just wouldn't stop and the, the uh, ministers over in Shepherd and say, oh Uncle Sandy will fix it all for you, but they never done a thing. And when I seen him at his funeral, I felt only I didn't want to cause any blues at the but I felt like having a go at them, you know. Yes. So so the the fight for the Bangarang to have their own voice and to be able to speak uh, in relation to what they would like to happen with the Barma National Park and also all the land from Barma to Wangaratta because yeah. it's their traditional home. Um, when when do you think you're you're going to be you're going to be recognised um, and and when do you think that the truth is going to be? I'd like that to happen before I die. Anyway, I'd love yes. to you know for for my family that were here and, and from time began my uh, father's um, grandfather and and that and, and we're just here like nobody's because we're not recognised as the owners of the land here. Why, why do you think that the government and Parks Victoria only recognise the Yorta Yorta? Because they want to do what they want to do with the bush. So are you saying that a deal's been done where they're happy to work with the Yorta Yorta because the Yorta Yorta will agree with them? Yeah, and, and it, uh, when they first, when we first come home here and, and our boys in Melbourne wanted to come up and be with us and and, and but you had to say you were a yorta yorta before you can get a job yeah, with them yeah. and, and they had no rights to to do do that to people that lived here lived here all their lives like monica never grew up here monica grew up in melbourne her father's german okay so let's clarify this so the barma national park is the traditional lands of the bangarang yes but the government and Parks Victoria are not recognising the Bangarang and they are not asking the Bangarang what should happen in the yeah, Barber National no, Park. Nothing, nothing like that. So how does it make you and your family feel when when your um, your history and uh, your heritage and your rights are not being um, Honoured. Oh, it's very hurtful. It really is. I, I feel really sad that, that this is going on like this. Uh, and the, the reason for it is I spoke to a regional director of Parks Victoria on Friday. Yes. Obviously, myself and the other committee members of our group were really, really devastated in relation to the action plan. During that conversation, I stated to him, why haven't you spoken to the Bangarang? Why, why haven't you got you know, why haven't you asked them what they think should happen? And he said to me, I oh, know, we've spoken to the Yorta Yorta, and um, the Yorta Yorta speak on behalf of the Bangarang. Yeah, that's not right. This is what I was going to ask you, like, where, where are the Yorta Yorta from? Well, Yorta means no knows, Yorta Yorta. So they're nobody's really. Okay. And and there's a a tribe in Echuca that maybe they come off that dog. They don't want to go in there and say yorta yorta either, I don't know. There's jotter jotter they call them in there. Uh, you're on a property on the edge of Barma yeah. and I see out in the one of your front paddocks you've got an absolutely massive sign of uh, <laughs> Graham done that, my husband. Yeah, which yeah, which which states Bangarang land. Yeah. So obviously uh, you know, you and your family are very passionate yeah. about um, trying to um, get right oh, to them yes, and getting yes. your um, getting your rights exposed, you know, like Getting the whole story exposed. Oh, I'd love to, that to happen before my time's finished on this earth because I've got kids, grandkids growing up, you know, that that uh, feel like they want to. Uh, most of them have got non Indigenous, or oh, Brett's Indigenous, but their mother's not, or oh, part Indigenous, and and they love love being over here and, and, and going riding in the bush and things like that. Yeah. And they're going to stop all that, aren't they? Well, that's the Yorta Yorta's yeah. in, their, in their current plan yeah. and obviously someone in the Yorta Yorta doesn't like horses because and, uh, they're uh, even calling on um, trail riding on the roads and tracks to be banned. Well no one, no one, not any Aboriginals that I know dislike horses. 
you know. Uh, well, someone in there must. Well, Monica never grew up around there, so uh, she would be the one talking, you know, because if she would have grew up like we did around, around here, knowing all about the horses and all the wildlife and everything, and she wouldn't be doing what she's doing. So you're, you're an elder with the bang ring? Yes. Yep. yes. Sandy was my second eldest brother. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so. And uh, uh, speaking to board members a couple of days ago of the Bang Ring, mm -hmm. um, they told me that you have got full authority to speak on behalf of the Bang Ring? Yeah. Yes. Um, so are you in support of the Brumbies staying in the forest? Yes, I am. I, I, I just, you know, the way everything is now is, is just against what I think about everything, what they're doing over here. Because, you know, years ago the forest used to look lovely when you we go to school and that and and it just just doesn't look right anymore to me how it used to be it, it doesn't look what it used to no be. no oh, yeah. it was lovely when, and that's obviously through mismanagement yes it yeah. is you could tell that now maybe maybe ruth they're um they're trying to put all the blame on the brumbies so that it yes, hides they are. They are. so that it hides their mismanagement yes yes yeah. and it's the same thing what they done to the bang rings. they just wiped them like it they're not allowed to do things like that. And, and the hurtful part about it is, you know, if, if the Yorla Yorlas were the people for me, I'd respect them for that. But knowing that they just walked in, the government just let them walk in and take over land. And even though they were going to name Yorla Yorla streets down at Cummer, and that hurt me because I grew up, at, uh, you know, I was born in Cummer and, and Knowing that they're not the people for me, it really hurt me to think that they were doing things like that. But it, it just sort of, I don't know, it makes me so angry to think that the government just turned our people away like that and and put someone else in there and you, you can't get a job unless you say you order, you order and things like that. Now, I've, there's plenty of other um, documents of evidence that I've seen that uh, different uh, board members and elders from the Bang Ring have showed me, and, and in my opinion, uh, you know, your your um, your claim as the traditional owners of this area is is absolutely true and yes. and absolutely watertight, you know. And um, and our group, yes, we have gone in partnership with the, with the Bang Ring people. Yes. And we are fully supporting you in in getting the truth yes. out there. And that that would make me so happy if it just came out that. The Bangarangs or the people from here, you know, that they give it back to to the rightful people, and it, it's so hurtful to think that this has gone on like this, and and especially someone that never grew up around here knew anything about it, and and all of a sudden she's here making out she's a bit now. Talking. So that you're talking about Monica Moore, yeah. the CEO of yeah. the Yorta Yorta, because yeah, well, uh, if, otherwise they would have been. If Monica and them were true Indigenous people, they would have done the same, not want to get them kicked out of where they, you know, were all the time. Yeah. It's sad to think that they're doing that. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll, we'll keep campaigning and, and obviously now the Bangarang are going to campaign side by side yes. with us in relation to the wild horses. Yes, well... Staying in the forest. I, I, I'm all for that myself. And um, and we're going to do our level best to um, to get a wrong uh, righted yes. in terms of in terms of what's happened to the, the Bangarang, yes. it is disgraceful. It is disgraceful. Disgraceful by the government, yep. disgraceful by Parks Victoria, and people like the regional director who I spoke to on Friday need to be educated. Yes. I tried to educate him on Friday, he wouldn't listen to me, and they need to realise that the Yorta Yorta do not speak on behalf of the Bangarang. Um, my understanding uh, from the board members the other day is, is that you're in for your third application to be recognised yes. as a recognised a recognised Aboriginal party. Yes. Um, we we fully support that, and we wish you all the best. Yes. All the best in relation to that hearing. Yes. And uh, and hopefully you know. Yeah. It'll it, just... This 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 is a a. Victorian and national disgrace. Yes, it is. That the true traditional owners. And if it ever gets corrected, I'll be so happy for my dear brother that fought himself.
for to do this, you know, get things corrected and just drive himself into the grave. It just made me so sad when that happened because um, he knew things were wrong and he was going to try and correct it, but he never got anywhere. He did. He fought, he fought very hard. Yes. Um, but it is. It's a Victorian and national disgrace yes. that, uh, that the true traditional owners of this area are, are not being recognised. No, in, in well, it shouldn't city. be that way. You know, they should have no rights to do what they've done. Because um, it, it, the Yorta Yoras are not a tribe and they just let them stay. They um, could have the land and the forest over there. Well, why? Well, I could probably answer that. Yes, but... so could I. I think I know why too.